Don't be too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the Force. There are many victims of the Mandalorian War. Some lost a little, and some lost everything. One of those men who lost everything was present at the Battle of Malachor V. Surviving the mass shadow generator, the would-be Dark Lord was trapped on the fractured planet via the artificial gravity well of the superweapon. On the surface surrounded by death, collateral damage, and destroyed fleets, the man assumed a dark persona while grieving his loss. Soon, the dark side which was strong on this planet manifested his emotional pain into an emptiness that swept his body and soon created an intense hunger without intent. He would drain the life force out of another survivor. This unpleasant experience caused him pain, but curved the hunger until it returned again and again until most of the trapped survivors on Malachor had perished before him. Soon, Darth Treya would locate him on the surface and bring him to the Treyas Academy, where he was named Darth Nihilus, alongside another apprentice, Darth Sion. Forming the Sith Triumvirate, Treya promised Nihilus all he could want, which was to consume entire planets for his hunger. Soon, his power would rise, and the two apprentices betrayed Treya, and the Lord of Hunger and Lord of Pain would begin the Jedi Purge. Nihilus would take the Ravager, a ship half destroyed by the war, and make it his flagship. The next four years saw the Sith defeat numerous Jedi, and during this time, Nihilus' body began to erode, so the Lord of Hunger ripped his spirit from his body, encased it in his mask and armor, and this allowed him to hold the shell of a human and wield a lightsaber, but his physical form became a simple vessel that needed the Force to survive. Hungry for survival, Nihilus seeked four strong worlds which, which led him to Qatar. Qatar was currently the homeworld of the Miraluka, a Force-sensitive species, and was the current conclave of the Jedi, formed by Atrus. Nihilus would enter the system and deploy his powers before the Jedi could react, obliterating the surface of Qatar. Nihilus would kill Zar Leston, Revan's original master, and wipe out all the Miraluka besides Vices Mar, who he would take as his shadow hand, and thus formed a powerful force bond. Soon after, Nihilus would form an alliance with General Vaklu on Onderon to form a staging ground for the Sith. While the events of Onderon and Duxon were taking place, the exiled Jedi, Mitra Surik, returned to known space. Orchestrated by Atrus, Mitra would find her way to Talos and learn about Nihilus, and as the Force willed it, Dark Treya would join her under the alias Kraya. This rise in the Force made Nihilus aware, and so he sent Mar to bring Surik before him. Failing at this task, Surik would bring her back to the light, and teaming up with Kandor's Ordo, now known as the new Mandalore, would take the fight to the Sith. Treya would create a ruse to lure Nihilus to Talos IV, and it was here Mitra, Mar, and Mandalore the Preserver, and his remaining Mandalorians boarded the Ravager and took the fight right to him. Mar would use her force spawn to weaken the Dark Lord, and after a brief lightsaber duel, Mitra Surik would defeat the Lord of Hunger in combat. I'm a 